Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. This is Ask Bowen. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man here absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media accounts. Jared, I think we had like 3,000 questions. Amazing. So I've tried to, I've nice. tried to sum them down okay. a little bit. Which player shocked you the most the first time you ever played with or against them? I think when I went to England, Harry Kane. Like obviously, I know how good yeah, he yeah. is, but you know the, the quality and the attention to detail. You know, we've done a finishing session yeah. on him. <laughs> and I genuinely think he scored every goal. Really? With his left and right foot. And obviously, when you play against someone, you know what you know they're good at. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes in games, it can be different situations. And when it's in training, um, you see it there, you know, in the flesh. And just especially it's finishing, it was a scandal. What was it? Just left foot, right foot? Just yeah, like... just like stanch everyone. <laughs> really? <laughs> every so single easy. time? Yeah. And then there was me just <laughs> keep <a> saving <laughs> them like this. And I was him just going top corners. But, yeah, but uh, I think probably him. If you had to make a team of the same player 11 <sighs> times, who would you pick? I love Messi. 11 Messi's? Messi is centre half. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because he can just dribble past everyone. I, I mean, it Messi would be a good is... game, it would be a neutral game, it would be about 2019 or something. Yeah, like true, that. and that would be very entertaining. You want an entertaining game, and I think he brings entertainment. I think Messi's a good shout. Like, most people usually say Kevin De Bruyne when we ask this. Yeah, I can but see that. Like... But it's for me, I just think Messi, if there's 11 of him, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> I know he probably won't defend, but you don't Walking need to defend when that. he can score. Yeah, true, you wouldn't get the ball off him. No, exactly. Uh, next one, what was the party like the night after the Conference League final? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> what it time was... did you go to bed? I don't think I went to... Oh, no, I, I <laughs> genuinely don't think I stayed. I FaceTimed my mum and my missus at eight in the morning, their time. <laughs> so they were going to work, my mum was going to work, like, looking at me like, have you been to sleep? I was like, nah. <laughs> But it, and I had my medal on. Yeah, was just, still. Uh, yeah, just like there was only a few of us left. I think it was me, Dex, and Kev Nolan was in there. Noves was in there. <laughs> just all the British lads. Just, was it? Yeah, just put everyone else. Everyone else was in bed, and we just. What about David Moyes? Where was it? Where was he on the nah, dance floor? No, nah, he was long gone. Yeah, he wasn't there. In bed. Yeah, yeah I relaxed. Think so. Which team did you support when you were growing up? Man United. Yeah. What was it about Manchester United? Because not for I loved, much stuff. I loved. Um, Same as David me. Beckham. Uh, growing up. Yeah. And I don't know why, I used to go to games like after school. I remember we used to leave about four o'clock from Hereford. Wow. And then go to go to the games. Unreal. David Beck, you mentioned there. I've seen a, a photo of you very small in the England kit with the red stripe as well. With the mohawk. Yeah, the mohawk. <laughs> Emulating him when you were a kid? Yeah, but I'll, I couldn't be any further away from him <laughs> whatsoever. But no, the seven, the mohawk. Yeah. Have you watched the documentary? Well, no. But I've got a good reason. My missus started it without me. Oh my word. <laughs> I was just like, how did that this to happen? I was in Germany, Freiburg. She was like, oh, what, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, just, just chilling, like, just had some treatment or whatever. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I just watched two episodes of Beckham. <laughs> I, thought, nah. I thought, you're winding me up. I was like, one, you don't like football. Two, I've never heard you say anything about David Beckham. Three, why are you watching it without me? Like, I thought we'd watch, if you wanted to watch it, I thought, you know, we'd watch it, watch it together. So I haven't actually, I need to watch it. I'm going to watch it on my own. What's your go-to meal to cook for friends and family? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't really Do cook. you cook? Not now. Mm. I used to, I used to be all right. I used to, didn't What was your go-to dish back in the day then? But I used to go like, Hello Fresh, and then they'd send you the ingredients. <laughs> yeah, and send you I love it. I love steps. a Hello Fresh order. Because then it feels like you're, co you're cooking. It does, but it all comes ready made. Because me and my mate had Christmas down here because he lived with me during COVID. Yeah. So we obviously had Christmas on our own, and we got it from Hello Fresh and cooked it. Did you? Turkey and everything? Yeah, unreal. It is unreal. So that was probably. I can't say I'd cook quantities. I can't say I'll cook a Christmas dinner. I can cook a roast dinner, so I'll probably say roast dinner. Because if there's friends and family, you can do like a big amount. What's the best bit of advice Danny Dyer has given to you before a big game? <laughs> I don't think he has, to be honest. It's more just after a game, if I've scored or played well, he'll just be like, oh, well done today. Like, not yeah. really, I don't really speak to him before. He wasn't on the blow before the conference league? Finally. No, I think he sent me like a voice note just saying like, good luck, yeah, like, yeah. you do it, all that stuff. But not like, you know, this, I think you should be running down the <laughs> line. Like, yeah, yeah, and shooting every time you get it. But <laughs> no, I've never actually had like full on advice. If you were stuck on a desert island with two of the England squad, who would you pick? Deck and Jack. Yeah? Deck Why? Just... Is that just for like, banner reasons or banner survival reason. reasons? Yeah, survival reasons, we'd, we'd be in the pickle actually. <laughs> but it would just be a laugh, like Deck. And then Jack, just the way he tells stories. It, yeah. I, just list... I think it's his accent. It just makes him, he doesn't realise that he's funny because of the, like, yeah, yeah. his accent is just so funny. And the way he tells stories, Survival skills, we'd be in deep trouble with the three of us, I think. Yeah, how are you getting off the island? Uh, <laughs> we'd figure something out. 
<laughs> between the three of us, we've come up with something. But yeah, I think for pure having a laugh, I can really stick. This is a good one, I think. Is this really you in the famous Milky Bar Kid photo? This one here. Good is it day, really man. you? That's me, mate. That's you? Yeah. Memories of that? Yeah, I just look like the kid off, uh, obviously the Milky Bar Kid, the kid off Stuart Little. <laughs> you do look like the kid off Stuart Little. Yeah, back in Edgar Street in the Meadow End. Yeah. Giving it large. I don't know what I was. Yeah, you look like you're giving it to the away fans there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it looks like I'm looking at the camera though, so they must have. <laughs> God knows, but yeah, what? Hooligan. Hooligan at young age. <laughs> How much did you get kicked when you were developing in the football league? I still get kicked to this day now yeah. every day in training. So I think I'm just that kind of player that the physios were always on to me. Like, it was the manager actually. The manager said I should get some um, World Cups because <laughs> they're yeah. leather. Because my boot, the boots now are obviously so yeah, like, yeah. light and you just get trod on and it's. Proper thick leather. He said get some World Cups. <laughs> yeah. But he was being 100% serious. I said, boss, I can't turn up a pair of World Cups. Like, <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my God. But no, I've always. Yeah, obviously in the football league at a young age was yeah. tough. You just want people just wanted to boot you. You was the young, young kid who wanted to run around, mm. make a name for himself, and they're, you know, coming to the end of their careers and they've been down the leagues. They got the experience. They just want to boot you or tread on your Achilles or anything. Um, but yeah, every day in training as well, I get kicked every day. So there's literally every day in training. H who's the worst for out here? Could be anyone. Um, it always used to be Jono, but Jono's all right now. Emerson, obviously Dawes, get me root canal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's just the type of player I am, though, because I yeah. you know, like to get my body across and win free kicks or whatever. So I think as I'm putting my body across, people are coming down and, yeah, it's painful, but sorry. Was there one game in the Football League where you re vividly remember, like, this is just awful. <laughs> like, I'm getting, like, big six foot four when you were 17, like... I don't think awful. I just think, when I was at Hereford, they Tamworth away. Tamworth's a horrible ground to go to. They were like lobbing coins and that at players. And really? Yeah, we lost 1 0. It's a nice stadium at Tamworth, but I remember that game, that was brutal. And I also remember we played Gateshead at home, and they had a really good side at the time. And we lost like 2 or 3 0, I think. And I remember I was getting booted that game. But yeah, those two stick out for me, I can remember that. If you were to invite three celebrities to a dinner party, which three would you pick? Oh, good question. Bex. Obviously. Obviously. You'll have to watch the documentary about it. No. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I need to think of what we're doing here. We need, like, you can't have three of the this same This could people. be your roast dinner here. This could be the ultimate Jared Bowen roast dinner with Bex there. Pressure Bex. on you. Ed Sheeran to sing. Ed Sheeran to yeah. sing. Yeah, bit of a party. Yeah. Gaza, I think. Gaza? And then we'll turn it into a party. <laughs> yeah, that's a big... That's I'm a going, like, Bex, big obviously selection. Bex is there just for Bex. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. We start singing after we've had <laughs> our food. Just standing up. Gaza, after we've had our food. Have a party with Ed Sheeran. That's an uh, unreal selection, I think. I've gone Happy a bit that. tactical in it, but I think those would be a good good party. Has Mo Kudus nutmegged you in training yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't made me. I think he made a couple of people. But I did see a clip of him where he nutmegged about three people in a row, so I can <laughs> see where the question comes from. Yeah. We either are on the same team, or I just stay away from those people. Like Kudus, <laughs> Paketo, I just stay away from them because all they want to do is take the ball around you or not make you something like that. Nah, I stay away from that, save the embarrassment. How's he settled in? Nah, really really well, yeah. Settled into the group really well. Obviously had his chances as well and played some games and obviously scored a really good goal at yeah, Newcastle to get us back into the game. Two in Europe as well. So no, nah, he's started, yeah, really, really well. If it was the last chance of the game to win the league, which one player would you pick to score? What's the, what's the opportunity? I think one on one. Plenty of time as well. Running through on goal. It's got to be Messi or Ronaldo. I need to pick one. You think the, the opportunity would change your mind then? What if it was like, I suppose if it was in the air header or something, you'd pick Cristiano, but. Yeah, I don't know if it was free kicks, I'd probably choose. That's oh, tough though, isn't it? Free kick, you'd choose James, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, proud see. Actually, no, he hasn't scored one yet. We've had about 10 free kicks and he's hit the wall every time, so <laughs> he's getting it. Um, I'm just going to go with Messi. You, you love Messi, I respect no, I love that. Messi. Which musical artist is your guilty pleasure to listen to? Oh, good question. Now, you've had Ed Sheeran at the dinner party, so... Yeah, but I listen really to loads of different pleasure, stuff. Like, recently I've been listening to Fred again. Mate, how good is Fred again? <laughs> I've been watching his raves. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I want to be there. So he's been, I've been listening to it, me and the kit man. Mate, you're going to have to go. Yeah, yeah, he loves him as well. And we've just been sending each other TikToks of... You're definitely going to have to go. So I think, yeah, for him now, I'm going to take Fred again. Best and worst holiday destinations you've ever travelled to? 
worse Lanzarote because I didn't realise how windy it was. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? I got there and it was like real sunny and then yeah. all of a sudden I was like, I'm freezing. Like, I, know. I was sat next to the pool, but I didn't realise it was like a windy place. It's only when I got it's back, people so were windy. like, oh, was it windy there? I was like, yeah, I'm funny. Glad you said that, actually. Was it yeah. scheduled or is it always like that? They're like, no, scheduled. it's always like that. I was like, ah, oh, so that's probably, yeah. It's a nice place, beautiful place, but it's the just wind. the wind, yeah. Best. Went to Mykonos and loved that. Nice windy, yeah, beautiful conditions. <laughs> but no, I got a bit of everything there. You know, I went with my brother, my dad, a couple of my mates. So you kind of just like go out for dinner or if you want to go out, out, yeah, yeah, go yeah. out, out as well. Stuff in the day as well. So yeah, I'd probably say that. Who, in your opinion, is the best winger in the history of the Premier League? Oh, God, this is going to be so controversial, isn't it? This debate has been raging like, online recently Yeah, I know, as I well. can imagine. There's Especially no right answer because everyone's obviously got their different answers and people will have arguments for everything. But is Thierry Henry a winger or a striker? Not counting Thierry Henry. Right. Salah? Striker. You can count Salah. I just think he's, the numbers he produces every year. Yeah. Like He's won Champions League, he's won Premier League titles, he scores 20 goals a season every yeah. season. Because that debate, Hazard, since Hazard retired, Hazard versus Salah, I've seen everywhere. No, I get it, because obviously Hazard was a joke. But I just think, I just think, for me, I think, because the way I play as well, yeah. you know, I'm always a bit more, probably a bit more biased towards you know, a left-footed winger of who you want to try and base your game off. Yeah. So do you look at Salah and you think that is somebody I could... Yeah, he's the benchmark. Yeah, yeah the benchmark. Yeah, you've obviously got Salah and obviously Saka. Yeah. Mares was one of them as well when he came because he was 1v1 was incredible. But Salah for me, yeah. I just think he's done it over the years and but he's done it every year as well. Yeah, he has. Consistency is crazy. Who is the most naturally talented footballer you've ever played with? So maybe somebody that you just stepped on the training ground and you just could not believe the technique. Well like techers or just a natural player? Yeah, just be however you want to see it, I suppose. Probably say Jude. Really? Like when I went to England last time a couple of weeks ago, yeah. it was about, I think it was about this time last year, I was in the last squad and he was obviously unreal. Yeah. Dortmund flying. But then this time he's like gone to Real Madrid and like flying. And he's yeah. Just, what yeah. is his level like on, it, on the training field? Is it just ridiculous? Yeah, it's a joke. It just, just looks so easy. <laughs> yeah. You know, when players make it look so easy and that Italy game was just like, yeah. And for 20 years old as well. So I'd probably say, probably say him. Do you think he can win a Ballon d'Or, Jude? Especially at Madrid now? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But is it hard for midfielders to win Ballon d'Or? Not really. It's more, is it not more...? Yeah, I mean, Zidane's done it. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. If you obviously happened, keep but... scoring and winning Champions League yeah. and doing everything, I think it's possible for him to win it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. If you could have been part of one of the front threes in history of football, oh. one of the best front threes in the history of football, which would you have picked? <sighs> What a question. Yeah, I think this is a really good question for a winger. Two that jump out to me straight away, MSN Barcelona. Yeah. And the Liverpool one of... Sterling. No, Firmino, oh, Mane, Firmino, Salah. Oh, Firmino, Mane and Salah. I think that on its day was frightening. There's some really good options here. There's also Benzema, Ronaldo, Yeah, Bale. I was thinking of the other, yeah, Bale, that's who it was. I was thinking of that Real Madrid one, that Barcelona one. MSN. When you got Messi. I'd probably go that one. Who do you displace in the three? Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I taking out? Neymar. You're going to have to drop Neymar. Because you're not dropping Messi. You're not dropping no, Suarez, surely. No, true. But then maybe I'm not fitted to that that squad because Neymar's right-footed. I'm left-footed. So maybe it's Benzema, Ronaldo, Bale. Yeah, could be Bowen, Benzema, Ronaldo. Bosh. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Jared. Thank you, Love mate. that. Thanks Top very man. much.